and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing how to use the Funnel Tool. Now the Funnel Tool helps to visualize and measure the performance of a step-by-step -step customer journey. By understanding the behaviors and touch points that lead to a successful conversion, you can ultimately identify key points of friction, use data to better prioritize your product roadmap, or allocate marketing spend to your most profitable channels. In this example, we will be using data from a fictitious company called Petbox which is an online subscription-based retailer specializing in sending boxes of pet goods to consumers. The data in this video is for example purposes only. Now to begin, we need to first start by accessing the tool, which can be found underneath the Analyze tab in the top left. So I'll click Analyze and then select Funnel from the list. From here, I always like to start by first asking a question of the data. And in this case, I'm curious to know, does viewing the blog increase the chance that a site visitor will convert or essentially become a customer. Now to answer this question, we're going to build a funnel and we do that by laying out a series of events in the order that we want to track users as they move through them. And we'll do that first by coming up here where it says select an event next to the letter A. And as I click that select an event link, you'll see a searchable drop-down list appear containing all of the events that you're currently tracking and sending to indicative. Now in this case, I want to simply start that journey or that pathway that users are going through by looking at how many people come to the site who are not already subscribers. So I'll search for site visit non-subscribers to start my journey. Now from there I need to see are you looking at the blog or not. So I'll make my second event in the journey blog view. And then finally I'll end this with our conversion event which in this data set is simply called subscribe. Every time you build a query in Indicative you need to define the date range that you're looking at. So where it says entered funnel last seven days if I click there I'll get a couple of calendars that I can use to create a custom date range. Or on the right hand side I can use one of our preloaded date ranges. I'll expand this one out to look at the last 30 days and click play. Now here are my results displayed down below. Most visibly we have three large green rings and each one of those rings represents an event in that user journey. So steps A, B, and C. The numbers in, in the middle of that green ring show me the number of users who made it to that step. And the blue lines in between with the percentages show me the number of users that make it from the previous step to the next step. So from A to B we had 23.79% of users travel between them. And then from B to C we had 47% 0.59% of users actually convert. If I hover my cursor over each step after the first step, you'll see in orange up above the total user drop off up until that point from the beginning of the funnel. So that's telling me that 76.21% of users dropped off from step A to B. And if I hover my cursor over C, I'll see that 88.68% of users have dropped off from A to C. In the top left, I can see my total conversion rate is 11.32%. So 11.32% of users who enter the funnel are making it all the way through. And then this is showing me that it takes on average 1.18 days for them to actually make it all the way through the funnel. Now, this is really great information, but I haven't actually answered my question yet of seeing if the blog will increase or decrease the chance that a site visitor will convert. To do that, I really need to make that blog view step optional. And I can do that by heading up here to the top left where there's this little green pin. Now any step that is not the first or the last step in your funnel will have this pin. And if you click it, that will make the step optional. So now when I rerun this query, you'll see that we have two different pathways to look at. One is users coming to the website as a non-subscriber and then converting without viewing the blog, which we can see here has 33.01% chance of a user doing that. But if I click on this other pathway, now I can see other updated conversion rates and updated conversion times showing me if a user does in fact view the blog first what their new likelihood of converting actually is. So I can see that we do have an increased chance of driving a customer to convert if they view the blog first, 47.59% versus 33.01%. To find out more about the funnel tool, keep a lookout for our additional videos coming out where we'll dive into some deeper functionality. But for now, happy analyzing.